It's really, really easy to get rattled in soccer because, you know, mistakes happen like that. But then all of a sudden like that, you can come back and do something brilliant. It's just a game of changing pace and changing possession of the ball. So for me, it's just, I do my best to stay composed and just staying positive and high energy is my main thing. The old soccer coach, Mike Giuliano, was always trying to convince me to come here and I always kind of chuckled and said, no, I'm going to, I'm going to a big division one school. I'm, I'm looking to play soccer professionally and all of that. And Giuliano said to my dad, you know, I'm going to get your son to come here. And, you know, I never thought I would until I visited fall of my senior year and came to realize that there's a lot more important things in life than just soccer and fell in love with the people in the school and that's how I ended up here. Freshman year, I ended up being able to get a lot of playing time. I was doing well, things were going well for a team in us, and I ended up finding out that I tore my left knee lateral meniscus about two weeks before the postseason started. And to be honest, you know, I was completely destroyed. At that point, my identity was soccer. That's that's who I was as a person. And I spent a lot of time in prayer and just really talking to talking to God about it and just trying to figure out you know, what was I gonna do if I, if I couldn't play soccer? And, you know, that's where I really learned to lean on God. And God's given me this gift to play soccer and that, you know, it's not because of my own ability, but because of the strength that He's given me that I'm able to come out here every single day and do what I love doing. One thing I love most about being the Wheaton College student is, is the fact that there's just amazing people all over campus. Whether it was Bob, my Mac Evans 3 janitor, laughing with him most mornings in the bathroom, or Bill, the maintenance guy who just spoke wise words and washed our freshmen's feet as he came out here and prepared the pitch for us and just so passionate for what he does and the way that he poured into us as young men. And you know, there's so many other people around this campus who just have awesome stories and people who are so willing to sit down and talk with you whenever you want and who are willing to pour into you as a person. Um, I have not experienced God's love as much as I have these past three years at Wheaton College. One, two, three.